With temperatures yo-yoing this time of year, you don't want your furnace to fail. Well, Steve Burbridge, owner of Anthony Plumbing, Heating and Cooling, is here to help us. Welcome to the show. And what is a heat exchanger and why is it important that we know how it works and we need to make sure it's working, um, functioning properly? The, the heat exchanger, this is not artwork. This is actually what's inside your okay. furnace and it has a, ca a casing around it. And what it does, it separates the vent gases that go up the flue from the air that circulates in your home. So the vent gases that go up the flue can have bad things in them like carbon monoxide. So this is very important. It is very important yes. that we want these to be uh, with no cracks or rust holes or anything. We want to make sure that they, uh, the integrity of those is, is full because you don't want that, of course, anything bad in your home. You certainly don't. OK, so you brought in some examples uh, right. where there, there is a problem. Right. Uh, that I had to look around and look very closely yes. to see. So you can see cracks in them. It, you know, there, cracks are one of the ways that they will, um, they'll have a, a, a breach. Another thing could be a rust hole, a seam can open up, a weld can open up, because these heat up and cool down thousands of times over the life of a furnace. So when metal heats up and cools down, eventually it can stress and crack and break. Uh, water can come in from mm -hmm. the air conditioning condensate or humidifier. Uh, vent gases sometimes will condensate and rust out furnaces. So there's a lot of ways that they can have, a, have an issue with them. This one doesn't uh, look so good. That, that one is a really a rusty <laughs> old one. It has a lot of rust in it as well yeah. as it has three cracks in it. Um, that's a large heat exchanger off of, a, of an old big furnace. Mm -hmm. Today they make them with aluminized steel so they don't rust as easy, but they still rust, they still crack. This one has a crack in it. Uh, sometimes you just see a discoloration from the heat, um, but they're, they're hard to you know, there's a casing around this, so they're actually hard to get to to see where all this is. And you actually have a test that we, you can come into someone's home right. and you can figure out if there's a problem. Yeah, and, and basically it's gaining access to it to where we can see it. Okay. Um, like, like this one, we, we have a, um, we, have, we took the limit switch off here so we can actually stick it in there. We have several cameras that we use. This would be one of them um, okay. where we can stick a probe in and take a picture and actually we can record it. So we've got the monitor here, so you can we have, see what's at the, the end of the camera. Right, that's right? an inspector camera there. And okay. So this is the, and you can see that like if we put it in here and then we, we can adjust the uh, acuity there and move it along. Uh, so this is one of the ways we, because you can't get your head in there to see, so we're <laughs> using these kind of cameras. And you don't want to get your head in there no, to you don't see. Want to get no, you uh, And but, you want to have a professional because you know what to look for to right. make sure that it's, it's functioning properly. Right. And you also have a deal for our viewers. We too. do, $49 okay. this time of year. And if you've not had your furnace tuned up, this is the thing you have to do. $49, we will come out, check your heat exchanger. We'll make sure the vent gases are going up the flue properly. We check for gas leaks, check the temperature rise, and we also check for um, natural gas leaks, so the, you know, the gas that hooks up to the furnace. Because you think, oh yeah, I'll, I'll figure out if there's something wrong with my heater because it will stop working. But you could be having problems and have well, no idea. And there's, there's somewhat a false sense of security that, oh, I've got a carbon monoxide detector in, mm -hmm. in their home, which everybody should have. But they don't alarm, most of them don't alarm to a high number. And in the meantime, you could have um, symptoms, flu-like symptoms, and it's actually carbon monoxide poisoning, and your CO detector is not going off. Something that you attribute to just the, the flu season, and actually there's something right. wrong with this device in right. your home. Really great yes. information. Now, uh, if you want to have no more from Anthony Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling, you can give them a call at 268 Four six six nine, and that's easy to remember because it's A N T H O N Y. There you go. Nine one three or eight one six. Easy enough. You can also visit them online at anthonyphc.com. Of course, we'll have a link at kclive.tv later on today. But I like that your number is easy to remember. Thank yes. you so Thank much. Thank you. Appreciate you stopping by.